Hello and welcome back to another episode of our WoW Alpha Hardcore playthrough. Uh, as you can see here on the screen, we're just crafting with our friend a little bit and we will be looking at the Alchemy Trainer momentarily. So as that's going on, uh, let me just announce to you that I will be streaming this Alpha leveling on Friday at 5 p.m. GMT plus one. So uh, yeah, you have that to look forward to. I will be streaming it on Kick, and of course I will make a post for it on the community section of this channel. So if you want to, you know, catch me leveling live, then that would be a great opportunity. I am really looking forward to it because I used to stream on Twitch back in 2014 to 2016. And uh, due to real life reasons, I had to stop doing that back in the days but I greatly enjoyed interacting with people and um, yeah, reading the chat and all that good stuff. I do have a webcam. I'm not sure if I'll be turning it on. Personally, I don't care if someone streams with or without a webcam though. So, you know, I will probably decide that spontaneously. Um, obviously you might get spoiled a little bit if I don't manage to catch up to where we are in the YouTube series. So beware for that. But the reason I'm only starting the streaming on Friday is to give me ample time to hopefully be up to date with where we are at in the series. So here you can see me trying to accept the escort quest with my friend. I had to wait for him for about half an hour at this NPC behind the scenes, which is obviously the pitfalls of leveling with someone else, especially someone you don't know and you're not in Discord with. You're going to be losing time as, you know, you have to adjust your pace to theirs. Uh, the interesting thing about this whole um, escort business is that we actually managed to accept the quest and he gets it shared. So that functionality is already in the alpha. However, the NPC itself doesn't start moving. The reason for that is that the scripts that govern escort quests are not in the game yet, according to the developer. And the reason for that is that it's mainly a one person team uh, supplemented and supported by a bunch of volunteers that help him with information and screenshots and old recordings that they dig up on the internet to you know, make this alpha experience as close to the alpha as possible. But that does mean that, you know, there are limited resources and I don't blame him. I remember playing on Phoenix Emerald Dream uh, 10 years ago, which was obviously a much, much larger private server team just on the 1.12 version. And they also didn't have working escort quests for a long, long time. So, you know, it is what it is. As you can see here, we're trying to kill some wolves on our own and it's uh, going pretty rough, honestly. It's it's rough going in Silver Pine and I am not too fond of this zone personally, but I did want to show it off for you guys. So that's why we ran in there. Having to abandon the escort now because obviously it's not working as I said. And uh, yeah, my main takeaway for Silver Pine is that not much has changed really. Uh, it's Still the same zone, in essence, from what I can see. I mean, I haven't seen all of it yet, but what I saw is like exactly what we got in the actual release. So it was already quite finished at this point in time, or it was quite unfinished on release, whichever way you want to look at it, as I, you know, speed up the footage for you to give you a little bit of a feeling as we walk through here. But um, yeah, it's, uh, you know, I, I, I can't say too much about Silver Pine either, I have to admit. It's not my favorite zone. It's definitely my least traveled of the early leveling zones. That's uh, mainly due to the fact that I do play Alliance. And uh, if I do play Horde, you know, the Barrens is just a great, great zone. The gift that keeps on giving. Although, you know, obviously every now and then you have to come here when Barrens gets a little bit uh, out leveled. And uh, as you can see here, we're checking out the vendor. He has three greens on offer, a Solstice Rope with two Intellect, two spirit and another five spirit to boot. I'm not quite sure why they didn't just merge the <laughs> plus two and plus five spirit into plus seven. Maybe they were testing out the functionality where, you know, you have uh, three different stats on one item and they didn't want to give it stamina for some reason. Maybe someone made a mistake. They also have a whispering vest that's like very underwhelming, just has a uh, four spirit and eight armor. So obviously the Solstice Rope is much better, albeit 
a little bit e less expensive even with more armor uh, so that's interesting and he has a wise man's belt on offer which gives you four armor and plus 24 mana so we will be decked out in a second here as we opt for the wise man's belt and the solstice robe um yeah so you have to equip everything by dragging it in and look at that we are looking fly as hell in a second there we are so we're pretty much decked out at this point um ready for end game as you can see uh, i think this solstice robe will unironically last us quite a while though because uh, max level obviously is 25 so uh yeah it should carry us through to there uh, what else is there to say um we looked at the flight master briefly before we went into the vendor and it still appears that only the top half of Cal uh, eastern kingdoms is actually visible on the flight map so i don't know how that's gonna go down if we ever decide to go fly down to gromgol or wherever talking to our man dollar dawn weaver who you know his drip is a little bit more impressive than ours i have to say but i do hope to get my hands on a hat such as his before this series is over the general supplies guy does have another healing potion that we don't buy because we only have two silver left to our name we're turning in the quest that actually sent us here in the first place and we will be checking out the crypt in just a moment as we accept a recipe for death which is already in the game it's the bear hearts and the spider venom that you're collecting so guillaume here does have a male name i mean i'm not too, too familiar with French, but uh, Guillaume, I do believe, is a male name, but a female model, so I'm not sure if they changed that, or maybe I'm wrong, maybe, you know, name applies to both, but I only know it as a male name personally. That's a little fun fact on the side. If you are French or you happen to know uh, whether or not that's the case, let me know in the comments below. I would appreciate it. Uh, we're talking to Executor Hadrek, who has the Deadfields quest that sees you killing gnolls until the shade appears that you're supposed to slay. A hunch tells me that that's probably not going to work out. Um, as we'll see in the next video, we also have an issue with a different kind of quest in Tyr's Fall later on. Yeah, we're actually going back to Tyr's Fall to finish up that zone rather than questing in Silver Pine because the wolves gave me an idea that, you know, I'm a little bit out of my element here and I should not be questing solo here. Yurif's tomb is in the game as well as the description on his inscription, sorry, on his tombstone. Uh, that's obviously the quest that you get by the chick in the pools of spirit in Thunderbluff. She sends you here to place something at her husband's grave. That's kind of like the connection quest for the people in Thunderbluff or even in Kalimdor to go and visit Silverpine. You know, that prompts you to go explore if you don't know that it's there well you know if you don't know that silver pine as a zone exists because you were new to the game in 2003 2004 2005 that would be what leads you here sort of the breadcrumb trail if you will so we start proving our worth by murdering those worgen but i have to be honest with you guys at this point in the game i am not feeling this zone whatsoever every worgen that i could attack uh, that i attack could be as a son of Aragal in disguise, I have no idea where they're placed in the alpha. And this being a hardcore run, I don't really want to risk it. So we're just going to be slaying those few worgen. And after that, we will be heading back to other city to finish up Brill. And after we finish up Brill in the next video, I will be showing you guys Crossroads. You should be excited for that, by the way, because I think the version of the Barons and Crossroads that is in this game is much cooler makes much more sense in some areas than the one we actually got uh, as our friend here you know behind the scenes i waited for him in sepulcher to keep on questing for another half hour just as i waited for him at the other npc but when he turned up here he decided it's too late it's like 1 a.m at this point and he needs some sleep so that's why i was also not too psyched to continue on in silver pine because it was already quite late on the bottom left, you can see here our time played is 5 hours and 47 minutes, so definitely not a new world record in terms of speed. But uh, what can you do? There's a lot to see and a lot to do, and there's no hearthstone, and you can't death skip and resurrect at the graveyard. All those neat little things you can't do that would otherwise save us some time. We turn on the uh, turn in the quest with Dalar Dawnweaver, get another quest for the other field northeast of the Sepulcher and decide, hell nah, we're out of here. So I'm just 
showing you guys the flight path. Not much has changed about the flight path um, at all, I think. Uh, still, I just included it sped up for posterity's sake. You can see it's in here, it's working, and it's gonna give us a nice little trip through Undercity's back door in a second. A new perspective at the added levels in Undercity. There is, of course, a second level to most quarters with some hidden vendors, etc. And I absolutely understand why they cut it, because uh, it's a little bit awkward to navigate, obviously, uh, as we land here. And this time we nail the slime jump and we're back to Bethor, just like that, turning in the quest for Lich's Identity, which is what we're going to be doing in the next episode. So I would like to say thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, you can look forward to another video tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. And um, yeah, I'll, I'll see you then, guys. Have a nice day.